were on the way back home from our tour with the greenery to uh, make our flights. That crash happened, and uh, I don't know if we, we were going to make it or not anymore. I don't know, I just, I feel like I just knew, like, it was going to happen, and after all these years of, like, us being really safe drivers and always, I don't know, so, you know, 20 minutes into my nap, we flipped. You know, I say this on stage because it's like, it's like, like that, like, one moment when, like, a, a second where I realized, like, I was okay. And I had no, I couldn't see behind me, and I had no idea what the dudes were like behind me. You know, like like that that one moment in my mind just goes like, you just killed, like your friends right now. Like that was like, I don't know, that was like one of the worst like feelings of my life. I think. Van flip was just kind of the uh, last last thing that we really needed to happen at that point in time because we'd already been taking a lot of risk coming here and trying to develop Europe and which financially set us back a lot and then now being without a vehicle and still having a payment on it and it basically takes away our ability to make money and after losing our van and trailer it puts us in a really really shitty place where we almost can't tour and it it affects us all in different ways I started the band in 1999, and uh, we should have changed the name because we kind of became a different band. Uh, original members, most of them left, uh, and then in 2005 is when uh, Martin and Christian came, and that became the new core of the band. I joined the band because I wanted to play drums in a band. You know, like I didn't think we'd be touring. I've I've never toured before this band. You know, so me being in a band was always just just to jam. You know, and play. And uh, then we started the tour, and I didn't think I'd ever be in London right now to play drums at a sold-out show. Uh, Mike gave me a call and asked me if I'd play bass for him. We uh, originally were jamming with Martin and him and our old guitar player, Chris Williams. We were going to start a new band, but they decided to just reform No Bragging Rights since they'd already been around. Well, I started playing with the band in 2011, but officially joined in 2012. I think I was only really used to like playing locally and never really did a, a real tour. So I kind of went from local band to like on the road all the time. So it was kind of like different. Tour in the US uh, compared to Europe, it's uh... It's different, and it's it's not. I don't know, man. Like Europe is just, it's just it's so it's just so different, and it's so much it's just easier, you know. Like this tour has been like the easiest tour I think we've ever done. There's nothing like it. You get taken care of. You always end up with a place to sleep. Well, usually. Um, Food's great. Regardless of how the show turns out, you get treated with respect. In the States, it's more, uh, it's more of a pissing contest. You know, worse attitudes, I guess you could say. Less interested in what's going on in the scene and, the, and the, with the bands and more interested in just making the bottom line. Uh, touring in Europe is cool because it's not crazy oversaturated with like bands and venues and uh, it's just they, they're like starving for the music almost and it's like they're it's like a treat to them whereas like in the US sometimes it's like it almost seems like it's like a burden for a kid to drive a fucking hour being out here was never like a goal it was always more of a dream and then like you know just getting the reaction that we've gotten um, it's cool that we, you know, that something that you do is appreciated, um, and uh, and it's you know really cool that it's appreciated in a different country where people don't even really speak your language, you know.
we've always been motivated by just a greater goal, and that is just to to spread you know the music and the messages behind the music and raise awareness really because I feel like our if I didn't feel like the lyrics were important I wouldn't have been I would have been done a long time ago but I feel like being able to interact with people and have them tell me that how much their music means to them that definitely keeps you going it's just cool to, to be able to come here and uh, and see what's out there it gives you a a pretty wide perspective on things and on life. Most of our time touring we're just fucking sitting in the van driving all day, you know, to our next destination. Sometimes it's oh wait. We are still driving this sixteen hour drive and we aren't there yet and like, I want to get out of the van and go do something other than sit in the van. So, we'll try and do cool shit along the way to break up that time. We're still going to like brand new places out here. And, um, you know, everything's still very new. A lot of, lot of history. Um, you know, a lot of older buildings and stuff. <laughs> buildings older than our country. There's a lot of things in the air with our van. So, like, you know, not to be like negative and be like, oh, we don't know when we're back, but we really don't know like when we'll be back here. So we've been we've been uh, trying to you know at least at least run it, like myself really really take in take in this awesome experience that we have. Unless some miracle opportunities come out of the sky, which is completely possible, I'm not discounting that at all. Um, it's just going to be basically a time to regroup, start fresh. There there is a good in it for me. I I can work for the first time and fucking three years because I'm not leaving every two weeks and I can do things I want to do but at the same time I won't be playing music so there's going to be that big gap. It sucks not being able to tour for a while but at the same time like it gives us time to take care of things that we need to take care of now so that when we can tour again it's you know it's less of a, a worry. I see too many uh, positive things in taking a break, uh, so I don't really like worry about it. Cause, like, it sucks. Cause I love the band and I love doing the band. I love playing shows and I love going on tour. But um, I don't think I'd get the opportunity to like start new again. Hey, we're just tired. You know, we do. We've done this a lot, and we and we do it hard. <laughs> um, since 2007, I think the longest break that we've had has been two months, or almost two months, of just like nothing, like no shows or whatever, but just time to us. Thinking about it now, it's been such a huge, huge, huge blessing, like to, like to have that problem, that like, oh, like, we tore too much, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's like, as a band, like, that's like the best problem to have ever, and, we, and that's, you know, we've been very fortunate. It's gonna just slow us down for a little bit, which is fine because that's what we need. Um, but uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's something that we can get we can get figured out, and uh, you know, and maybe we can uh, pick up where we left off. Love.